I will talk about silence. It's a very difficult subject to talk about no? the meaning of silence. Silence is uh, eloquent and is musical. When a poet went to the mountain, he was contemplating all around. It was very silent and he said, there is so much silence that I can hear all the little sounds. In the silence, you can hear the sounds. Then after 62 years walking around to talk, speaking, explaining, and also hearing explanation, receiving words of knowledge, I am beginning to understand the value, the value of silence. At my age, I am approaching to the kingdom of silence. And so I understand that the best knowledge that we can receive is a training to enter the kingdom of silence in the last days of our life, to hear ourselves and to receive the voice. When Moses went to the mountain in the desert, he kept in silence, he kept in silence and he received the voice of the cosmos, of the heavens. When Christ went to the river, the Jordan River, in the silence, he heard the voice of the heavens. When Buddha entered to meditate under the tree, he received the voice in the silence. The same happens with Quetzalcoatl, the great teacher of the people in North America, with Tunupa, the great teacher of the Andes, all the great teachers, the guides of humanity, when they enter in the silence, they receive the voice, the voice that we need, that we ask, that fulfill our spirit. So when you go to sleep, never ask the pillow about your problems. Enter in the silence. And maybe you receive the voice when you sleep. No nightmares, no insomnia, but to receive revelations. This year in December, we must prepare to hear the voice, the same voice that in the past, the great guides of humanity, the great masters and teachers received in the, in, during the real meditation. Meditation without words, without words, without sounds, to hear the sound. The sound that enlightens, that brings harmony and real health. Health is not in the drug stores, in the pharmacies. In the pharmacy you find medicine for sickness, but not health. You cannot buy or sell health. You must cultivate the real health. Real health is harmony, living in harmony. Humanity of today needs silence. There are many words of confusion, many lack of understanding, many doctrines, many books, and so on. And th but there is not the real voice. In 1948, a great teacher came from the old world to the new world, and he brought us this. He opened the door to the path of silence. We, must not, we cannot say the voice of silence, but the voice in silence. When you enter in the sanctuary of silence in yourself, then you hear the voice in silence. That's the real path, the real spiritual path, the real initiation to enter step by step 
in the silence. Silence is not void of sounds. Silence is musical. In music, we put silence. No? Tan, taratan, tan, tan. If you don't put silence, it is no music, it is noise. When we speak, when we talk, we need to use silence. And your words are musical. Your words give harmony to other people. All the problems of today, all the conflicts, all the crises, is because the people don't practice the art of silence. The leaders of the nation, the nations, the countries, they don't understand about this. So the real religion must be a way to practice the meditation in silence, the prayer in silence, a way of walking in life, always trying to hear the voice. Universe, universe, unity in diversity. We are not uh, members of Mother Earth, we are members of the solar system. Our nationality is the solar system. Earth is a member of the solar system. It's not isolated in a space. When the Earth go around the sun, it's playing music. There is a cosmic sound, the sound of the stars. We can hear this cosmic concert when we enter in the silence. When we learn astrology, we are learning about the music of the cosmos. Every planet is like a, a chord, a string of the great instrument that is the solar system. And the solar system is part of our galaxy, the Milky Way. This, that's, that is our cosmic nationality, the Milky Way. We are members of the Milky Way. Who of the people is interested to learn about Milky Way? It is very important to understand life on Earth, to learn about the Milky Way, the solar system. We, we learn only about Earth, ecology in the Earth, and so on. We are far for the real understanding. This uh, day of December 21st, this message from the very ancient Mayas of the past is a call to cultivate our cosmic consciousness. Before going to sleep, contemplate the heavens for a moment. Clean your mind from the problems of the day from the noises of the day, contemplating the infinite and the eternity. And it liberates our spirit of attachments, of preoccupations, and then we can go into sleep to enter in the sanctuary of silence. So, in my, this is my last a step in my life, I every day understand better and better the power of silence. When we enter in harmony with silence, the words take energy, motivate other people, inspire the people. When we have our head plenty of noise, the words don't have wings, the words don't, don't fly. They lack energy. The power of the word, the sacred word, is uh, based 
in the way to hear. When you hear in the silence, your words become mantras, have the power. Maybe simple words, not necessary to say mantras in other or language. In your language of every day, you can put the power of the mantra, the power of the sound to inspire and to change the world. The great teachers of humanity are present every day. The Christian feel that they are in touch with Christ. Not, not the person, he disappeared 2,000 years ago, but that the spirit that silently can guide us. The same with the Buddha, not the human being, but the spirit. It, it, it belongs to the, to the treasure of humanity. The spiritual treasure of humanity consists of the presence of the great teachers. Every teacher, every spiritual guide of humanity adds more jewels, more spiritual jewels to, to the spiritual inheritance of humanity. And this richness of the spirit, the great gospels of the great teacher of humanity, is the best food for humanity to enter in well-being, in harmony, in peace, in the real health. The best treasures, the best values of the human life are inside us. You cannot buy happiness or health. The best values of the human life are inside us. It's unuseful to find happiness in the shopping centers, in the battlefields, in the banks. We lost the time looking around to find the ways. We must look inside. But we need a spiritual culture. If you don't receive this tradition, you cannot meditate, you cannot sleep as a sacred discipline to receive revelations. We need a training. We need to understand the, the words of the great teachers of humanity to meditate in it. As you take three foods for your body every day, you need also three meals for your spirit. As morning with the sun rays, you can receive blessings from the great spirit that we call the, we call the sun. This presence of light can feed our spirit. At noon, when the sun rays are brightest and hottest, if you enter in the silence, you can open your charkas, your flowers, your inner flowers, to receive this, uh, this fall, this catarata of light. At the sunset, the same. After your job, your work, your everyday life, at the sunset, you enter in the silence and you receive the sacred medicine of light before sleeping and after awaking, enter in the silence. Well, that's uh, my, my harvest after 62 years of traveling, in pilgrimage, talking with the peoples in the Americas, in Europe, in Israel, in Morocco, and so on, the Soviet Union, talking, hearing, and explaining is what I can give to you as a gift of my, of my pilgrimage in life. When I leave this 
this life, then that moment is a very sacred moment to enter in the silence. No crying, no suffering, no. With happiness, with joy, with gratitude, we can open the doors to the next life. There is no death. There is a transition from one way of living to other way of living. We must take out of our vocabulary the, the word deaths and all negative words. To clean our vocabulary only using words of power. To empower our spirit with sounds of harmony, sounds of peace, sounds of joy. The, the vocabulary that use, we use in the everyday life express our level of understanding. Then it is very important to clean the vocabulary of negative words that destroy us, that weaken us, and is not good for the people around us. Be always constructive, never destructive. Your sound must be inspired in the silence or your sleeping or your meditation or your prayers or your moments of solitude. Solitude is a good company. When you are alone, you have the opportunity to hear the voice. The voice inside you and around you. It's all that I could express about my walking around the, the world. I, I give thanks to all of you and to our people that prepared this festival because it's, it's a moment of, of friendship, spiritual friendship. After this moment, we will take something from this, this communion, something that could help us from now on to take the real way. The real path, the real spiritual path is the everyday living. It's not in the moment of a meeting or meditation. Not. You are always in the spiritual path in every moment of your life. And more, you are more inside the spiritual path when you are alone and when you enter in the silence. Life is designed to reach the goal. That's the sense of life. Life on earth is like going to school. We are learning every day. Our teachers is the people that surround us. We receive from other people negative lessons and positive also, every day. And the, the transcending of yourself must be inside yourself. Around, you are in the school. All people around you are your teachers. And inside is your spiritual past. Transcending your levels of consciousness to reach highest level, highest level, every day. And the knowledge that we need is the teaching of the great teacher of humanity. The old teachings. The oldest the teaching, the most true teaching. Today there are many interpretations and doctrines, but we must look for the ancient words. We must recover the treasure of the great instructors, the great masters of of the peoples, every day to have a moment of interest, entering in the silence, accompanied by these words of the great masters. It is important for the spiritual survivance of humanity to recover the voice, the voice that is neutered in the silence, in those beautiful moments when these guys of humanity 
enter in this sanctuary of silence. Our planet is sacred. It's a temple. It's a cosmic temple. We are pilgrimage with all the planets of the solar system and with our central light, that is the sun, we are in a cosmic pilgrimage, traveling without returning. Never we will come back to other places. No, the sun is guiding the planet, entering in the, an infinite space, discovering every day new visions about life, about creation, about the creator. We, we must actualize the teachings of the great masters to adapt it to these new times. This year is the last year of the great cycle in accordance to the inheritance of the Mayan elders of the old times transmit to us and the, last, the next year, we will enter in a new cycle of 5,000 years in other place of the cosmic ocean. We will live this year the, the travel through, I call it the sea of uh, confusion in the cosmic ocean. And the next year, we will enter in the ocean, in the sea of harmony. Other conditions in the cosmic energies different than the last 5,000 years, or many commotions, many disharmonies. Then we had the privilege to live in the two times, the last year of 5,000 years and the new time of the new cycle. And this teaching of the old Mayan wise men and women is similar to the great teaching from India, from China, from Africa, from all the continents. The, all the prophecies come to the same point. This is the moment of transformation of humanity. This is the year, the last times of confusion and the beginning of the restablishing the, the laws of harmony, the universal laws of harmony. We can see through the news what is happening today and if you understanding, understand this news, you can see that all is going to a great change, to a transformation. ¿Cómo se dice desenlace? ¿Eh? Just. We are going to, in this crisis, ¿eh? ¿Cómo? On traveling. All the cyclists are pushing us to the solution. The solution must come very soon because Mother Earth cannot wait for more time. Ecology, the weather change, the problems in the poles and so on are asking for a very fast solution. And the social crisis in all the continents and countries, the suffering of the people, the sickness, that grows every day because there is no sign to bring health today. All are asking for a very fast solution. Then the, the, the so-called Mayan prophecy is coincident with what is happening today. Evidently, something will happen from this year on to change all the wrong conditions in nature and in society. We have here an altar.
representing the four directions and the center. The four directions are related with the four seasons and the year, the four elements, and the center represent, represents the balance, the quintessence, the fifth element. The four colors, the four keywords, and so on, are inscribed here in our hand. We have the four and the fifth. Our body is like a book of knowledge. We talk in yoga about the chakras, in the Chinese medicine about the meridians of acupuncture. And so in all traditions, there is a recognition to the wisdom that is in, in our body. And we must respect our body as a temple of knowledge. Christ said, be your body a temple. It's not something to exhibit. No, this is an instrument of work to develop the cosmic consciousness. We are cosmic beings. We have a body made with the elements of the earth, but in this body there is the fifth element, the quintessence. It is cosmic. And so in our body is the union of the heart of heavens and the heart of earth. Well, just talking about silence. <laughs> no, not easy to talk about silence. But it's very important for us. Because every day we put music in the radio, in the TV, said in the car, in the streets, sounds and sounds. But no, no music. Then we must liberate our ears, clean it from time to time, because there is many pollution in the ears, in the brains. And every day when we go to sleep, sleeping is a way of cleansing the spirit. And then we awake peaceful, with serenity, with balance. And when we awake, we must confirm this Serenity that we reach during a sleeping with a moment of silence, of silent prayer, silent meditation, or giving thanks and feeling the joy of a new day. And this will bring energy to your life, will reinforce your character and your will. with the, this moment that life gives us as doors that we can open to a right understanding of life, about life, about destiny, about death. Every day is a, one day less of living and one day more of living. Every day we lose one day and we reach one more day living. We add years every year and we lost years, one year every year. You add, I am now 50 years old. The next year you put one year more, one, 51 year, 52 year, but you lost one year. You are every day more close to the last day. Understand time. The time, the real time, is not the time of, of, of the watch, of the calendar. The real time is like the time in music. We are dancing every day. If, if we learn the sense of time, the human time cannot be recorded through mechanical instruments. The human time is like the time in music. The time of the child is different than the time of an old 
people. The, the sick person is living a time different than the healthy person. Sadness is a time different than happiness or joy. One minute in, in earthquake seems like one hour. And one hour of pleasure seems like a minute. That the human time is enlarged and like the, como se dice, la goma, la, la liga. Uh, like the rubber band, that's the human time, enlarged and short. We need to understand it. Time and space. This is our first space. We take this space everywhere. Then we need to understand this house, this temple, and respect it and nurture it rightly. Second space, our home, our family, the place where we sleep and, and dialogue with the family, the street, your office, your place of work, your city, your nation, your continent, your earth, your planet, other vision about time and space, because we live in these two coordinates. In time and space is our consciousness. Without this consciousness, it's impossible to understand life, to be in a real path. And silence is the, the key to open the doors of understanding, the real silence. Notice a voice, a vo silence is not void of sounds. Silence is musical, is eloquent, brings vision and understanding and give more quality to your life. We must raise the quality of life, not the quantity, but the quality. And so we will be worthy of our human condition, not uh, reject this opportunity of humans to reach the real goal of the human being and the human people on this earth. Every day is important, every hour, every, it's a, like a treasure time, jewels in life every moment, every experience. So the, the altar in our traditional cultures represents the energies of life in time and space. Here are representing the four seasons of the year, the time, the four directions in the space, the four elements with which these elements, the great spirit, build everything. Matter is sacred. In matter is the will of the great spirit, the intelligence. We don't need to be materialistic or spiritualistic. We must be balanced, recognizing the polarity in life, the value of matter and the value of the spirit. To be always in the center, the real path is the middle path, the path in the center, to remain always in balance. That is the symbol of Libra in the zodiac, to keep the balance always, to respect all that exists around us and inside us. Never reject, never depreciate nothing, never discriminate. Try to understand Try to enter in the sense of every experience in the personal life and every experience in the life of society, of the nation, of the humanity. And you can contribute in this way to the solution, 
to the human problems in society and in the individual life. Okay, we will stay here some days sharing moments of, of talking, of putting in clear many things. We cannot solve everything in a few days, but we can do the intent, no? To bring a new understanding. Okay, here I have other space. She's my wife. I said that she's my, my staff on earth and my torch in the heavens. Because, it's true. Because. It's true. <laughs> she, she, it says the balance, you see? It's expression of life. No? Man alone. No. We say man because the women exist. Human because there are men. No women, no man. No. A, a solitary animal. But the low polarity brings the balance. Sometimes there is not understanding in the couples because they lack the spiritual culture. No, because they don't have affinity, but it's lack of understanding. Because if you meet because of love, then you are responsible to keep love above all circumstances. But if you destroy the love at the, from the beginning because you believe that you are not in affinity, then you are rejecting this gift of love. Then I want that she say something. <laughs> something. 